tonight we are playing Ramoli. So this is an awesome classic game. We, oh, I've played this all my life. It was a classic Christmas game. The kids, classic Christmas game. Go ahead, set that up there. It's just good fun for all ages. And as long as you can count, as long as you can count, you can play this game. That's the fun of it. Um, so we're going to split doesn't have to be perfect. You split the chips into this amount of piles that there are players. So Lily's going to make four piles. There, as you can see, there are spots on the board. You collect chips for having those items in your hand. We'll get there. There is a poker pot. Now, if you don't want your children playing poker, you don't have to use the poker pot. Leave it empty. Our kids, they do know how to play poker. Of course, we don't use money. It's not gambling around here, but we do know how to play poker, so we do use the poker pot. But I've played with younger kids, and you just don't use the poker pot. Nice thing about the poker pot, we don't play poker often, we're not big poker people. So it has uh, the rank of hands right here for you on the board. So when you're dealing, you're going to deal the whole deck and you're going to make one more hand than there are people. So there's four of us, so I'm going to make five hands. Like I said, you just go till there's no cards left. I'm dealing, dad will go, no, I'm dealing, so I will get to choose whether I want to discard my hand and take the extra hand, or whether I want to sell the hand. You can bid off the extra hand, you can just give it away, it, it really just depends who you're playing with. If you're playing with younger ones, you can just give away the pile. If you're more aggressive, you can definitely bid it off. So, when you're trying to decide whether or not you want to keep your hand, you want to look at your hand and you want to see if you have any of these cards in your hand. So the Ten of Spades, the Jack of Diamonds, the Queen of Clubs, King of Hearts, Ace of Spades, the Ace and King of Diamonds, or a sequence 7, 8, 9 of any suit. Uh, so I'm going to look at mine, and I do have one of these. So I'm going to go ahead and keep my hand. Would anybody else like this hand? Me. Really? Mm -hmm. Okay. We'll go ahead. We're not real aggressive players. So Lily swapped hands. Everybody else, what they need to do is they need to, you can see what the boys have done so far. You need to put one chip on every section of the board, and don't forget to put one in the middle. So we're just waiting on Lily. You good? First, you go for the poker pot. So, and that's kind of the honor system. You can show your cards afterwards. Looking at my hand, I have a flush. Can anybody beat my flush? I have, oh, can I? I have a flush queen high. I have a flush ace high. Um, Aces. Can I? Yeah, can I see, get out of here. Aces are high. Can I say I have a flush anvil house? Can I see that? Mm, no, no, just pick one. Come with your well, highest. When you have, your highest. Your highest. So if you have a full one, house, that would be higher. Full house with um. 
Right, if you have a full oh, house, you beat us all. You beat all of us. Oh, you don't have a full house. house. Okay. I do. You need three. Then okay. you win. So everything. Lily has a full house. So she wins the poker pot. So she's going to take all the tokens that are on there. And this next step is controversial. Again, it really depends how you want to play. I know some people who play, if you won the poker pot, you start with your lowest card. Others say it's two clubs. So, and we can play, you can play differently every time. Agree with your table. So what do you guys want to play? Poker pot or two of clubs? Uh, I like two clubs. All right, clubs. so. None of those gets me to go first. Me neither. <laughs> it's me both ways. Okay, there we go. It's Lily both ways. So, what she's going to do, you guys, if you can, push your cards up here so that. So, Lily played two of clubs. So, who has the three of clubs? I have the three, and it gets better. I also have the four and the five. Does anybody have the six of clubs? Six of clubs. Oh, wow. We got a roll here. I got the seven and the eight. Nine of clubs. Ten. Ten. And the jack of clubs. Oh, there's I got jack. the queen of clubs, and it just so happens there's a queen of clubs on the board, so I'm going to collect four chips. There you go. Dad collects that. King. There's the king of clubs. And the ace of clubs. Oh. Do we really just go through a whole suit? Yeah. Wow. So that doesn't happen very often. Uh, okay, so nothing's higher than an ace. So Ryder played the ace. He's now going to play his lowest red. So we just finished black. He's going to play his lowest red. Four diamonds. Four diamonds. Five of diamonds. Six of diamonds. Seven. Eight. Anybody have a nine of diamonds? Okay, so again, Ryder was the last one to play a card, and it was a red card, so now he's going to play his lowest black. Three spades, four spades. Five, six. Okay. Red. So, play my lowest red. Three diamonds. The four is already gone, I know that. So I get to play my lowest black. Eight, nine spade. Ten. Ten of spades. What? Nobody has the jack? Go ahead, Lily, lowest red. Four, five of hearts. Six and seven of hearts. So again, this is great for younger kids just for counting. It's good just for counting the cards. Who has the eight of hearts? Anybody? Okay, I'm gonna switch to Black, two of or two of spades, and I see it's already the three has been played, so I'm going to switch to two of hearts. So maybe no the three, three, I think it's already out and around. Okay, I have no more black, so I've passed. Okay, so dad has no more blacks. Ryder, blow us black. King of spades. Ace of spades, and I'll collect. Nice. I do not have a red, so dad's turn. I do, and it's my last card, so everybody pay me as many. Okay, so dad went out. So now, what we have to do is, well, however many cards you have left in your hands, you put that many tokens into the middle. So I have one. Lily, how many did you have? Two. Two, Ryder? Two. And Dad collects the middle because he went out. So as you can see, some of the sections didn't go. The Jack of Diamonds, the Ace King Diamonds, and the Sequence. These two will build up for a while. The Jack of Diamonds, I'm assuming Lily threw that away in this. I had it. I oh, it. Ryder had that one. Okay, so she had no counters. I had nothing. Perfect. Okay, so again, now what you do is you put a token, a chip on every section, shuffle the cards, deal one extra hand, then there are players. And start all over again. Poker pot yeah. first, and then go from there. So we're going to play a few rounds. We'll come back, and we'll tell you who wins.
ended up going out in, I think, the second round. He did not have any good hands, so he went out. So, but he stuck around, watched us play. The Ace King ended up going right at the end here. Lily took it. Uh, lots of coins. And nobody ever did take the sequence 789. Uh, Mom got 24. Lily got 32. And Dad got 29. So Lily is the winner. High five. Good job, girl. She loves this game. This is one of her favorites. All right. And that's Ramoli. Keep playing and have fun.